Hey, what's going on everyone? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. So Slipknot just released a new song. It is called the Chapel Town Rag. And uh, yeah, this kind of caught me off guard. I saw a post about it and then it just, I happened to be just about to record another video, but this released it just a few minutes ago. So I was like, let me just do a reaction to it. First, listen to it first. We'll see how it is. They haven't released anything since uh, their album. What was it? 2019? Yeah, 2019, We Are Not Your Kind. And that 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 album was pretty good, actually. I was, I was pleasantly surprised how good it was. But yeah, they said they are working on some new music, so we're going to check it out right now. Haven't heard a second of it. Let's hope it's good. I'm assuming it's going to be. So here we go. Got it all queued up. Let's, let's just listen to it. What already kind of reminds me of... Um, of Eilish just a little bit, you know, right? Right? You guys know what I'm talking about. about it if you want to know. Sounds a little spooky. All about what they want you to know. That's a very spooky voice. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Okay, okay. Kind of reminds me of Sick a little bit. The mixing sounds a little interesting right now to me. It, 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 it's not like... It doesn't sound very polished. This, I wonder if this is like a final mix down and master of like their upcoming album or if this is just like here have this i i'm such a fan of blast beats uh, you you love to hear Slipknot do blast beats. I love, it's like a like the song All Hope Is Gone. Uh, I love that song so much because it's just full of blast beats. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is what I'm talking about. Like when, when we talk about like say Slipknot and Heavy, I'm I'm digging what this sounds like. I'm with it. I'm with it, baby. Wow. 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 This is fucking good. This is really good. I, I'm actually, a, I'm, I'm, it's a lot. Like, this is the first listen, and I'm already very impressed with how it sounds i haven't really even been able to absorb it and take it in usually you gotta like listen to stuff like you know a few times to really absorb its full potential but i'm already i'm digging it This sounds like this. This is really interesting. Like it, it sounds like the interesting direction that they kind of been experimenting with, right? But it, it has like elements of everything you've heard from the past, like just all the way to the self-titled album. Reminded me of a little bit of uh, "All Hope Is Gone," especially when it comes down to the production, and I, I just. It just seems like it's it's so rare, right, when there's bands that have been around this long that are still really killing it on creativity. I 
I really like that riff. I really like that. That's really. That's, I like that. I like that. That's that's really. Uh, it's cute. <laughs> I love it. Listen, listen to listen to Corey's vocals right there. Like, really hear that, hear that. I'm gonna back it up just a little bit because, like, he's just like really kind of. He's just really going. Like this. Like seriously, think about that. Think about. Corey's age and everything it's so you always wonder like say I wonder how somebody's vocals are going to hold up over the years especially when Corey for so many decades been screaming with so much emotion and stuff and I mean when you listen to like the first two records especially when you listen to self-titled record I'm like how is this dude's like vocal cords still intact and now you fast forward all them years later, and he's still putting out performances like this. What an absolute stud and professional, right? What a stud and professional to be able to have such a powerful range of vocals. Like it, it's 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 absolutely incredible. I mean, it, it's just something. It's something that like I hope a lot of people that have amazing voices can do this as well you know with especially like in the deathcore era where people were really hitting ranges that i'm like that's dangerous bro oh, i really like that I, I i i really like this chorus it's so fun i always love that what we call like the two-step beat you know it always makes you want to kind of like two-step i love going to shows and then there would be a two-step riff, and it's like, oh, it's time to two-step, you know? It's time to two-step. <laughs> this, is, this is, I'm always, one of my favorite things is to speculate what's going to happen in the bridge. Is it going to be a breakdown? Is it going to go heavier? Is it going to go softer? You never know. Like, uh, I, have, I have no thoughts. Okay, so it's kind of just to the to the intro. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we might be heading to a breakdown. Do you hear that riff in the background? Do you hear that in the background? We might be heading to a breakdown. Okay, I was I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong, but I thought I was going to make, oh man, there's going to be, uh, I love like Slipknot doesn't do breakdowns very often, but you'll love to hear it. You know, um, I, I like when they do things that are very like, say it's just pure heavy. You know, what, one of my favorite things is, uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's the new abortion. The second verse, like it just turns into this fucking just kind of chunky, just slam type of, I'm just like, it's probably the heaviest Slipknot has ever sounded. It's just so like, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> that's that's just peanut butter. There it is again with them with them blast beats. Pop, pop. Ooh, did you hear that 808? Mmm, you can just feel that 808. I love it. Are we out of here or is there gonna be some crazy shit? Is there gonna be something crazy at the end? Yo, the guitar work in this song is, there's a lot going on. Like, there's so much that I'm missing 
this is man they really stepped it up like they really it's like the pandemic gave them just so much thought i guess like not worrying about too much i mean obviously people worried about a lot of stuff during the pandemic but i feel like the artistic freedom to wander because you know that there was only so much you could do so it's like writing probably really stepped it up when everything is gone on Okay. Anything else? Just kind of ring outs. Oh, okay. What what the what the hell was that? Did you hear that? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. Creepy. All right, that was interesting. I I First listen, I actually, I really dig it. Now, I needed to sink in a little bit more, though, like I said before, because I'm a person that likes to listen to things at least three times to really get the grasp of it, and then you get to hear the other things that you probably missed, because when you hear something once, you're always going to miss things. When you have that much stuff going on at once, especially in a band like Slipknot, right, there's little accents, and Something that I really appreciate is that dude, Rick Beato, that I'm sure a lot of you know. I love his What Makes This Song Great series because there's so much stuff that no matter how many times I listen to it, I'm going to just miss these things. Not only because it might just be a little faint, um, also bad hearing from over the years from playing really loud music. Uh, and then when he just gets to have all the stems break things down and mute certain things and brings other things. And I'm like, I never knew that was in there. There's a lot of stuff going on in this song that I would love Rick Beato to break down. I know he probably won't. I mean, he does more iconic songs. This thing just came out. But I, I'm i really interested to like just have some good headphones on and really just pay attention and hear a lot of different things going on because I heard a lot of stuff. But this song is kind of all over the, all over the place in a good way. Uh, really impressed. I'm actually really... Like, I, I I highly anticipated their previous album, We Are Not Your Kind, but from hearing this, I've, I'm actually more anticipating what this record is going to be, because this was really, because, like, you heard the first track that they released um, to promote We Are Not Your Kind, not Unsainted, but the one before that, it didn't actually end up on the final cut, right? And I was like, this song's classic, it sounds good, but it was just kind of like, you know, dare I say generic, this right here is very different and it's like oh okay they're 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 bringing the bag of tricks out and stuff cool stuff but anyway let me know what you guys think about it i thought it was pretty dope um i'll see you guys soon with some more reactions and first listens and whatnot more reviews and covers and everything else y'all take care and i'll see you in the next one